hour north of Dublin, Ireland. It's called the Clogger Hill. This is an interesting place in Ireland because about 400 million years ago, part of North America collided with Eurasia at this point. The rocks here are gray wackies intruded by igneous rocks that added quite a deep depth. Here on the map, you can see the Dublin airport and here is Drogheda and Cloggerhead. That suture crosses Ireland in this direction. The suture created a supercontinent called Pangaea, which was later divided and spread apart by the Atlantic Ocean. I don't know if you can see it, but that's Scotland across the water. And right over here is the um, Giant's Causeway in Northern Ireland. It's um, where the top of the salt flow is eroded off and you can walk on the hexagonal This is where the Atlantic Ocean began to open 60 million years ago. Stick a coin in these fractures of the basalt and it will bring you good luck. Basalt is an igneous rock that spills out up on the surface of the earth. In northwestern Ireland we find mountains and that's because these are continental rocks that have been uplifted and they contain a little extra silica like quartz and they're harder to weather away and erode. Port site. So somewhere around here there's a quarry with this bedded quartzite. This mountain near Sligo, northwestern Ireland, has caught my attention because it's a glacial remnant with sedimentary layers up there, probably undercut by glacial ice. We've had glacial ice over Ireland several times in the Pleistocene. And of and this grassy hill right here, the other side of the stone wall, looks like a drumlin. At the beach at Slago, Northwest Ireland, I come upon a bunch of huge boulders that look metamorphic because of these light and dark bands of minerals, but they're actually igneous rocks that contain older rocks within them as inclusions called xenoliths. Orange on this map indicate the older, harder rocks of Northwest Ireland. It's called the Barrens up above here, a nature preserve. And in the 
distance out here, we can see the Aran Islands. And I think it's um, interesting are these loose boulders on the barrens. Notice the um, glacial erratics, the, the huge boulders on the barrens limestone here. And of course, the Aran Islands out across the water. These are the cliffs. These are the barrens. Limestone shale. If you like to hike and look at fossils, this place could be on your bucket list. These are the Aran Islands. The Aran Islands, kind of a rainy day, still worth going. Most of the rock on the island is limestone. Where the Aran Island Ferry lands, there's some granite. And uh, to the north, there's some marble. It's a green marble. It's called uh, Connemara marble. South of Galway at Ennis, I find metamorphic sedimentary rocks. Some of these are slate. This is the Atlantic Ocean on the west coast of Ireland. And if I swing the camera this way toward the east, we're looking up the Shannon River, and this is where the suture crossing Ireland meets the west coast near uh, the peninsula of Dingle. So I'm between Dingle and Limerick, and you can see these, uh, well, over here in the clouds, you can see these tall mountains. This diagram shows the suture in the rocks that um, indicate continental material banging together. And when that happened, it created mountain ranges. Those mountains are eroded away now, for the most part. So this is an alpine setting. There's um, 
the eroding cliffs, 10 kilometers from Bingle, you can see a pass up here. And if you look behind me, you can see down to sea level. bit of a wild trip to get to Dingle on the western coast of Ireland, south of Galway, but it's worth it. I have some coffee and the coffee is good. It's espresso. Trolley Bay on the Dingle Peninsula. Southwestern Ireland is mountainous, and we don't have to be geologists to see that these mountains are oriented southwest, northeast, um, parallel to that suture, and that these form ridge and valleys. Surprisingly, the tallest mountains in Ireland are near Dingle and just southwest of Killarney. The rocks of Ireland turn out to be quite diverse, and they've also shown up uh, a record of, of quite a diversity of time. The oldest rocks are in northwestern Ireland, and they're Precambrian. And then the central part of Ireland is covered with limestone that formed after the continents banged together creating the island. And South Ireland, the rocks are tilted and metamorphosed sediments. It's um, time for me to head back to Dublin. The roads are good in Ireland and well marked, and I've had a pleasant journey. In July in Ireland, it rains almost every day and it's really comfortable temperatures. I've traveled counterclockwise around the country and it's possible to drive around the, the country in one week. Uh, I've covered 2,000 kilometers. If I go back I want to get out on those northwestern and northern and uh, southwestern beaches. Here is a map of Ireland geology from the Geologic Survey of Ireland, where colors display different rock types. There's so much to learn here about the geology of our planet. Thanks for watching. Ireland is extremely beautiful, and I've fallen in love with it. It also has a deep cultural history.